Hello everyone and welcome to this short tutorial. So in this tutorial, uh, I'll show you how to render a uh, colored smoke in Redshift using Houdini. So let's jump into Houdini and see how we can create an effect similar to the one that you are seeing right now. So here we are inside of Houdini. So we will start with a uh, geometry first. So let's dive in. So we'll create a sphere. So we'll change the primitive type to polygon for now. And we'll also increase the frequency to 20. So what we want first is to apply some kind of color to our sphere so that we can transfer that color to our pyrocene. So for that, I will use a quick UV project. So as this is an sphere, I will be using a projection method to plastic wrap and then I will be using a group type to points. So once I've done that, I can use an attribute verb. So inside the attribute verb, what I can do is I can bring in the colorful map. For the color map to work properly, we also need a UV. So for that, we will use a UV code. So this is very basic. So in the color map, I can select a file that I want to use for the color. So for this one, I'm using a image that I used for the initial video. And I will color, connect the color to a CD. So here you can see that we have a color on our sphere. So after we have applied the color, so I will be using a mountain shop. So what I did uh, in the mountain shop was I just uh, quickly animated the mountain shop height. To so have done that, what we can do is we can select our uh, geometry node and go to our pyro tab and then click on colored smoke. What this gives us is uh, two more nodes. Uh, one on one would be the DOP network and the another one would be the geometry network. So if we jump into the DOP network, uh, which is a pyro sim, and then we quickly play that through. So inside the Pyro node, uh, what I did was uh, for the source, I activated the source only for the frame 24. So for that, we can just type in $f less than 25. So this will create uh, an expression that will give us an activation for until 24 frames. So let's just uh, play it through. So this is a general idea how to create a colored pyro. So you can add in more microsolver to give it more turbulence and uh, dissipation. So let's say once we are happy with the simulation, what we can do is we can go inside the pyro import geometry node. So this is the first step uh, towards achieving the colored smoke. So I have already cast in my simulation. So I'll create another geometry node. So inside the node, I'll just drop in the file. And then in the geometry file, I'll browse to the directory where I have my cache. So this is my cache. So this is the simulation that I cast earlier. So first thing what we need to do is we need to create some light uh, for the fluid to render properly inside our redshift. So for that, I'll just drop in the RS dome light. So one thing you have to remember using the redshift is always to turn on the volume contribution in the contribution scale. So I'll increase it to one. And you have to also assign a proper setter for this to render. So let's go into our material and then drop in the RS material. So I'll be using RS material builder. So inside the RS material, I will drop in the volume, RS volume. And then I'll connect my out color to the volume. So once I've done that, I can assign this 
shader to my volume what I have done is I've added in the camera and let's go to our render view and see if we get the renders so here you can see that uh, we have our fluid rendered however we don't see any color so to get the color from the cache that we did earlier with the pyro what we need to do is in the object uh, we need to go inside our bdb pyro and then we need to convert this from houdini volume to a uh, vdb volume so after the file node i can drop in convert So here, so right now the volume is being converted into Polygon. I want to convert it into VDB. So once I do that, if I render, I'll still get the same render. So I'm not getting any color. So after you have converted the volume, what you need to do is you need to add in the VDB vector. So it's a VDB vector merge. So after you add in the VDB merge, if you don't get any color, so there's one more step that you need to follow. So you need to go to your material and in the red sheet volume, uh, you need to specify the channel that you want to bring in the color from. So in the color channel, if you just add in CD, so that would be capital C, small d, and then if you render, this should give you a color. So here you can see this is how we can render the colored smoke in Redshift. So right now my license isn't working. So I'll quickly show you the final image that I rendered using Redshift. So this would be the process how we can render a color smoke using Redshift in Houdini. So I hope uh, this was helpful for you and if you have any feedbacks and comment, uh, please do let me know through the comments below and please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.